Hi everyone, in this video I would like to show you a simple process or workflow that can convert an IFC file into a graph and capture the attributes that it has and uh, through topologic pi convert it into um, a GEXF format which I think stands for graph exchange XML format which uh, Gephi or Jeffy, I don't know, I think it's called Gephi uh, uh, software which is a really nice uh, graph analysis and visualization software can read and display both as a graph visually as you can see here as well as tabular data. Uh, for this workflow to work you need Topologic Pi 0.4.88 or newer so please make sure that you have the latest version of Topologic Pi which you can install using uh, pip install Topologic Pi a dash dash upgrade okay so let's get started let me show you it's a very very short uh, script so here is the script so basically the first uh, uh, cell as we usually say you can ignore because I'm on my development machine and uh, I need to point uh, Jupyter notebook to the correct uh, location of topologic pi however let's focus on the next one so the next one we have a uh, statement that imports the graph library so from topologicpy.graph import graph and then we specify where our IFC file is in this case it's under the downloads folder and it's called duplex uh, underscore a underscore all this number dot IFC then we specify the output so this is the output of the GEX uh, GEXF file so we're also calling it duplex uh, underscore a underscore the same number dot GEXF so the first step is we get a graph by calling graph dot by IFC path and you give it the IFC path that will read this IFC file and create a topologic graph that is called G then the next call is very simple it's again called graph dot export to GEXF and you give it G which is the variable we assigned it to here we give it the path, the output path, basically, which is the GEXF path, which is this one. And then there are some optional things we can do, like the graph width, the graph length, and the graph height, in order to scale the graph to a certain like size. And then what is the default uh, vertex size, or as they call it in uh, Gephi, node size. Topologic calls it vertex, but vertex and node are interchangeable. And then the default edge weight, which is 0.2, and we have decided here to make it a directed graph, meaning the edges will have an arrow going from start point to end point. And we are saying to overwrite any previous files. And that's really it. If you would like to know more about uh, this method, export to GXF, GEXF, excuse me, you can go to the uh, Topologic Pi uh, API uh, documentation. You can read about it. There is more. Uh, more options there are more options that you can add here if you would like so just go through them and find out what you would like to do uh, mainly you can put uh, colors inside the dictionaries and have it uh, return a colored graph completely up to you all right so let's go ahead and uh, run this from the beginning so i'm gonna uh, restart the kernel and run this cell and then run this cell it will take a few minutes depending on the size or a few seconds in this case depending on the size of the IFC file but it's not too bad while it's doing that let me show you the actual uh, IFC file this is the example IFC file that we have uh, used it's this uh, duplex which has two apartments And this is still running because as you can see here there's a star and now it's done and I printed the status of it that means it is saved it is true so let's find it in the file uh, uh, folder here there it is it's called duplex a underscore a this is the GEXF file so if I double click it uh, Gephi 0.1 starts it will give me uh, a little info thing that this is uh, GEXF version 1.3 you click OK and there it is we can make it look a bit nicer than this 
so I'm going to go ahead uh, it's off screen so you might not see it or you will not see it uh, but I'm changing the layout to something called force atlas 2 and I'm making it run and then zooming out a little bit maybe bring it back into the view so that you can see it so there it is this is the, the file or the graphics is me uh, these two nodes two central nodes uh, if you want to see what they are uh, maybe you can guess what they are uh, let's see if we can zoom in on them yeah uh, select in that uh, laboratory I don't think I can do that for some reason um, let's check on the preview no uh, let me show you the data lab laboratory or data lab basically all the information again this is sorry larger than the screen uh, but all the information is here as you can see uh, all the IFC types are there and then you know um, and the ID is saved so that you can retrieve it later on and do some kind of data matching uh, and that's it really um, you know this is very very uh, simple uh, with just two lines as I showed you here you can uh, get the graph and then sorry, get the graph here and then output it to a GEXF file I hope you enjoyed this video see you soon